from San Francisco. It's The Cube. Hi, I'm Jeff Frick. We are on the ground at Cassandra Summit 2014 in lovely San Francisco at the Western St. Francis. We're out here at the conference, the fifth year of Cassandra Summit, getting a, a feel for what's going on, grabbing people out of the hallways and, and getting an update. So I'm joined next by Clint Kelly from Weeby Data. Hi, Jeff. Great to uh, stop by. Thanks for uh, letting us grab you. My pleasure. So we talked a little bit about before we got started, Weeby Data. Give us a quick update on the company. Yeah, sure. So we build a personalization platform on top of big data technologies like Cassandra and Hadoop. Uh, so we help uh, companies in vertical markets such as retail and finance and healthcare uh, provide personalized experiences for their customers. So we talked a little bit earlier with another guest about kind of the media side of and, and where Cassandra plays there for streaming video and streaming audio, etc. You, you're talking about a specialty in, in retail, so I wonder if you could share some stories about you know what are retailers doing with this capability? Sure, so retailers typically will capture all of the data they have about customers in a database like Cassandra. Uh, and the, with the customers we work with who use Wibby Data software, for example, they're capturing all the users' clicks every time they add something to a product or a wish list or view something. All that gets captured as time series data in Cassandra. Then they use Wibby Data software to run some analytics over this data and use those analytics along with some real-time information that they have about customers to serve them personalized content. So what's different? I mean, Online retailing has been going on for a long time, right? Yep. We know recommendation engines. I mean, it is kind of scary that as, after I'm shopping for some item, as soon as I'm yeah, yeah. navigating someplace else, it pops up in my Google ad. So w what are some of the things they could do now that they couldn't do? And is this exclusively for the online shopping experience? Or we, we hear talk about it moving, you know, kind of onto the floor with sensors and other things yep. that now can see how I actually look at the shelf the same way as how I navigate around a web page. Yeah, so those are uh, great questions. So first, this is different from normal product recommendations. Uh, it's a much more powerful, flexible engine. So we go beyond just recommending products, like when you add something to your shopping cart, for example, to do things like personalized offers. Uh, if you're using a mobile device and you come into a store, we can send you uh, special offers, for example, or point you to certain products that are on sale or that are close to your location, based on all this information that the retailers cap captured about you and some analytics mixed in with real-time contexts like where you are being in a physical store, for example, or how you've interacted with uh, a mobile application recently. So talk a bit about the growth of the data inputs and the, and the yep. amount of different types of inputs that you can now draw from to drive that, to drive that engine that you couldn't before with mobile devices and, and other kind of things maybe we're not thinking about that are out there as good sources of data. Yeah, good point. That's one of the great things about working on top of a database like Cassandra is it's, it's so flexible and it's so big that we can pull in data from the ways that users interact with the brand on all kinds of different platforms. Uh, so I described earlier that users, uh, you know, they click on a website or they view products on a website, we capture all of that. That's pretty standard. Uh, but we can also do things like with some of the new technologies coming out recently, like iBeacon, for example, look at, uh, keep track of what users are doing in physical stores. We could look at how users interact with brands through all kinds of different channels, uh, even maybe wearables, for example, with the Apple Watch coming out. That's right. <laughs> and what about privacy, right? As, as I'm, I hear these things, you know, obviously the little privacy flags yep. go off. You know, I don't, I, I guess we know everything on the internet's on the internet and it's there for uh, forever. But, you know, how are people dealing with kind of the privacy implications of really collecting this much data around yep. particular individuals, you know, the market of one? Yes, good question. Uh, so one of the nice things about our solution at Wibby Data is that we offer on, an on-premise solution. So the retailers we're looking at are very conscious of security concerns. And so if they use our technology, they can build out uh, this big data infrastructure all on-premise. Uh, so they don't have to ship their data uh, off-site at all. Yeah. 
Well, it's scary. I mean, we just had the most recent one, right? The Home Depot, the Home yeah. Depot breach, which is which is all over the news, and, and it seems to happen pretty regularly. But uh, hopefully, you guys are working to keep that stuff all locked down. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for stopping by. My pleasure. Uh, again, I'm Jeff Rickward, Cassandra Summit 2014 in San Francisco at the lovely Weston St. Francis.